Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to read a portion of the incident response and computer forensics book. I just wanted some feedback. I already got my own perceived ideas about it. I just want to figure out what everybody else thinks. So right now it's talking about hiring IT professionals and looking for incident response talent. So these are the qualities that the book says you should look for. Experience in running investigations that involve technology. Experience in performing computer forensic examinations. Experience in network traffic analysis. Knowledge of industry applications relevant to your organization. Knowledge of enterprise IT and knowledge of malicious code analysis. Outside of that, they have some managerial characteristics such as highly analytical, good communicator, attention to detail, a structured and organized approach to problem solving, and demonstrable success in problem solving. So all those things sound good. I think everybody has their own niche. Write in the comments below what your niche is. Mine is problem solving, of course. I think that's everybody's niche in some type of capacity. But I also like network network analysis. I like anything that deals with data. I like finding problems, finding solutions, and being challenged. I think the hardest thing to find is somebody who likes being challenged and not give up so soon. But for right now, I just want everybody's comments. Let me know what you think, what things you can add, what things you'll take away. And I get back. All right, that was a short break. Thought I wasn't going to get back to you that fast, did you? All right, experience in running investigations that involve technology. So I don't think everybody needs experience in running investigations. I think everybody should be part of an investigation that involves technology. It says this is a wide spectrum ability to encompass information and lead management. The ability to liaison with other business units, evidence and data management, and basic technical skills. All right, that's a lot of big words. And all it's saying is somebody who's experienced. Hard to get experience when you're trying to get into the field. But regardless, let's move on to the next one. Experience and performing computer forensic examinations. This includes familiarity with operating system fundamentals, knowledge of OS and application artifacts, log file analysis, and ability to write coherent documentation. Yes, I believe that's one of the key characteristics of an IR team member. I think the hardest part people have difficulty understanding is writing coherent documentation. Everybody wants to be the superhero, find all the artifacts, stop the attack, but nobody wants to write documentation. I think documentation should be an area of interest for everybody and something that everybody strives to get better at. Experience and network traffic analysis. All right, this is one of the areas I enjoy. So let's see what it says. This includes experience with examination of network traffic and protocol analysis and the technology to put the information to use in a detection system. So all this is saying is being able to bring two things together to create one solution. You have to have the ability to know what tools do and how, when used together, makes them more effective and efficient. The next one, knowledge of industry applications relevant to your organization. So this goes into the hiring process. If you're looking for a candidate, you want to make sure that candidate fits your organization and what your organization needs. So what it says is most companies have specialized information systems that process data on industry specific platforms. All right, knowledge of enterprise IT. In the absence of enterprise IR platforms, so incident response platforms, nothing beats an administrator who can come up with two line script for searching every server under your, their control. So knowledge of an enterprise IT, that doesn't necessarily mean a person is able to write scripts. 
What that says is the person understands how things work. Somebody can understand how things work and not exactly know how to take advantage of it. Now, if you want to take advantage of something, that's totally different. That's a different train of thought. That's comprehensive. So if you have a comprehensive understanding of an enterprise IT system, then you're more valuable than somebody who just understands how the systems are set up in the architecture. So if you're able to create a script to grow, go through that environment, then so be it. But if you just want somebody with knowledge of a enterprise IT, then I don't think that's going to cut an incident response team. Next one, knowledge of malicious code analysis. So this was this one's kind of hard. A lot of people do capture the flags. They don't really have experience with actual malicious code. You can pull samples of code and go and play with that. But in order to really get knowledge of malicious code, you're going to have to do your own research. You're going to have to put malicious code in the sandbox and see what it does. This takes somebody who's a go-getter, somebody who don't doesn't need somebody to walk them through scenarios and somebody explain everything. This type of person goes out, figures out what they need to know, and comes back with a solution. And like this says, if you have three positions available, hire multitaskers who have basic triage skills. So that that's real important. So if you have somebody who won't, who has malicious code analysis experience, you want them to be able to triage different malicious attacks and stuff like that. Because at some point, you're not going to be dealing with one strand of malware. You're going to be dealing with multiple strands of malware and potentially more than one type of malware at the same time. So triage is very important. And last but not least, back to the highly analytical, good communicator, attention to detail, structured and organized problem solver, and demonstrates success in problem solving. All this put together is pretty much somebody who gets along on a team, somebody who doesn't mind communicating, sharing ideas, and taking ideas from others. If you're on a team, nobody likes you, then hey, you might as well just be some useless person sitting in the corner not doing anything. No matter what your skill set is, in order to be part of a team, you have to play like a team. If nobody likes you, nobody's going to be trying to look for your your experience. Nobody's going to look at your skills, your talents, because all the thing they can think of is, hey, I hate this person. Experience on running investigations that evolve technology. All right, I think that's uh, very easy to understand. Experience in performing computer forensic examinations. I think that's where everybody strives to be. Everybody wants to be able to find artifacts, have knowledge on operating systems, and pretty much be the technical SME of whatever area they're working in. Some people are well-rounded. Some people are just strictly set to one goal, such as a Windows person or a Lynx person. Me, I like networks. I think that's important for an incident response team member. I see knowledge of industry applications relevant to the organization. All right, that's more so for hiring. If you're going to hire somebody, make sure they're appropriate for your organization. If you have a bunch of cloud, a large cloud environment, Make sure you hire somebody who has experience in a cloud environment. If you don't, then hey, you just hire somebody who can't help you. Next one, knowledge of enterprise IT. So this goes into somebody who doesn't just have a home network experience. That's somebody who just sits at home or just have familiarity with consumer products rather than enterprise products. If somebody has enterprise IT experience, then hey, that's a good strength knowledge of malicious code analysis yeah somebody can have knowledge somebody who just goes and reads reddit or some type of blog about some exploit or malicious code that was found what I think I think this should be somebody who goes out looks for information they self be able to come back correlate a lot of different things and come up with a solution on how to find it how to combat it and how to teach others if you can teach somebody else something, that really tells how much you know. And last but not least, highly analytical, good communicator, 
attention to detail, structure, organized approach to problem solving, and demonstrate success in problem solving. All right, those are good characteristics of an incident response, incident response team member. And so, so far, I agree with a lot of stuff in this book. It's called Incident Response and Computer Forensics, third edition by Jason, Matthew, and Kevin. All right, until next time, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let everybody else know about this channel. And see y'all next time.